uh, it's very difficult to follow my aunt. <laughs> it's very difficult to uh, listen to her without crying. Um, first of all, I want to thank uh, Mr. Nolan and Ms. Wagoner. Uh, on behalf of the family, I want to uh, particularly thank Ms. Wagoner for her, her remarks. Um, you know, history, or what we call this parade of passing human experience, uh, is illuminated very often by the things that don't fit, by the incongruities of life, as much as by the consonants. Consonants in terms of uh, God having invested that voice in that person and the incongruities of the inconvenience, perhaps, of trying to build a career as a singer at that time. But it requires more than just a great voice, and I'm, I'm grateful to Alan Cotter for recognizing the fact that, first and foremost, my aunt was a great singer. Like many people who happened to be pioneers, who happened to open doors, that was what fell to them to do. All my aunt wanted to do was to sing. All Jackie Robinson wanted to do was to play baseball. The fact that they were consummate artists each in their own way was something that tends to get overlooked in the other emphases on their lives. Uh, everything that needed to be said today has been said. And I don't want to delay the appearance of Denise Graves anymore. <laughs> I'm grateful for everyone who is here, and particularly for His Excellency, Ambassador Baltasari of Finland and his wife, who I think had a special treat in terms of hearing my aunt sing again some aliens. Um, this moment and this day is so fraught with both symbolism and iconography. And the symbolism goes back far beyond 1931. My aunt's devotion was two things, really. To singing, of course, but also to her mother, my grandmother. And at the time that my grandmother was cleaning floors in a bathroom, taking in laundry, and washing steps, she could never have imagined a day like today. And so I know on behalf of the family, but particularly on behalf of my aunt, this day is really my grandmother. Thank you.